Now that's an interesting value judgment mm -hmm. that you're making. And I'd like to know, on an atheistic, naturalistic worldview, on what basis can you make that value judgment between these two separate right. societies and cultures? Uh, why, why do I think a society is better that uh, doesn't have slaves? Is yes, why is our set of values which abhor slavery superior to uh, any other cultures which uh, uh, adheres to slavery? Why characterize this as a moral improvement rather than just a difference? Well, it, it certainly is a difference, and the reason I think it's a moral improvement is that uh, all of us have things to offer uh, and slavery denies large people, large numbers of people, the chance to uh, achieve uh, everything that they have to offer to us. And and I happen to think, we we uh, we live we live in a pluralistic society. And the essence of our society is that everyone gets a chance to contribute. Everyone gets the chance yeah. to throw but out their ideas. That wasn't the essence and, of ancient Hebrew and, uh, society, right? I mean, uh, oh no. So why are you That's imposing right. our values? on them. Oh, I, I'm not criticizing them for having slaves. Uh, uh, that's their society and that, that was where, you know, but the, the point I'm making is that there's no, there's no place where it's written in stone, here are, here are the moral values by which we should all live for all time. So you can't really condemn slavery on an atheistic, naturalistic worldview, can you? That's right. No, I do. But, but I do. I think slavery is a wrong, I think it's a bad thing. But I isn't that it. just a, an expression of your own socio-cultural situation that you were uh, born right. in this? That's right. So it doesn't That's have any objective sort of validity. Uh, it, no, it comes from our society. That's why I said that okay. all of us, Could I'll I give you an example. Today, right today, we are arguing about whether or not it is moral for the president to have lied about his uh, sexual relations. We're arguing about that. Is, is that a moral thing or not? We're, we ourselves, all of us today, the senators, all of us who are voters, we are deciding whether what he did was a moral thing or not. And, and that's the way morals are created. In fact, I, I would know say, he does not. And, and I would say, I would say, if you believe that you have some set of objective moral values, uh, I would say, well, how do, how, why should I believe that you have them? I mean, how are you going to know? Well, you're going to have to do the same thing as anybody else who has relative moral values to try to show why your values are better and right and they work correctly and, and they have this, uh, all of those things. You'll have to go, the, you can't tell the difference between absolute objective values and relative ones. It's just a you, fact. You don't think that you can tell that we ought to love a child rather than torture and sexually abuse a child? I, I think that's a good idea, to, to, to love a child. I think it's a good idea. It arises from our biological heritage. It's uh, natural and normal for us. Uh, but one isn't morally different oh, no. from the other? No, I, I, I think it's that, that they're morally different. It's, it's bad to, to inflict harm. That's why I criticize God in the book of Job. Is he's, he has inflicted uh, unmerited, undeserved suffering on totally innocent people. And you think and that's it wrong himself. of God? I, I think that's wrong of God. On what basis do you make that value judgment? I think it's bad to inflict suffering and, and harm on other people. Why? What do you, what do you mean, why? I mean, why is that wrong on a naturalistic worldview? The, the Nazis thought it was all right to do that to, so they to did. Jews. They did, and that's because morals are created by societies. And, and, uh, and that society created the, the, a system that made those people see with such hatred. And, yeah. and we, we, have, we have many differences in moral opinions. In, in uh, some Asian societies, such as in China and Japan, they're, they're much more communitarian oriented than we are. And we're very individualistically oriented. Well, I mean, do I think that there's some place where it's written, uh, here it is, you're supposed to be individualistic? I, I don't think so. It, let, let's, take, let's take specific example to discuss it. Is divorce moral? Let, let's, let's ask that. Is divorce moral? In, in your absolute moral code, is divorce moral? Well, I think, I th I think the issue here is, is anything, not just divorce, is anything right or wrong? And by your own, sub, by your own philosophy, nothing is. Uh, now, now, you haven't answered my question. No, no. Th and, and why this divorce? Is, this is, is This is a... This is a uh, a pretty well-known uh, debating tactic here, uh, and I want to know. I want to know: Is divorce moral? That's no, the question. The, 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 I, I'll answer that one. That's a yes or no okay, question. Very, very briefly, the, the Bible does lay down certain conditions prohibiting divorce and allowing divorce under other conditions. So, I mean, that's just a matter of you can look in the Gospels and see what Jesus said. But honestly, Doctor Lykin, this isn't a debating 
yeah. tactic or trick. This is a fundamental philosophical question. Right. On the one hand, you want to make value judgments, like God was wrong to do this right. to Job. Right. Uh, slavery was abhorrent. We have improved morally over this other culture. Right. The Nazis were wrong. Right. And yet, on the other hand, out of the other side of your mouth, you're affirming moral relativism. You right. have no transcendent anchor for these values, and hence, you're lost in a sea of sociocultural relativism. You were, you were correct in everything you said until you said I was lost. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we... That's we, why we invited you. I, I am... <laughs>